Understanding the Backhand Stroke in Tennis, a Guide for English Learners. Hello and welcome to our English Learning Channel. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase from the world of sports, the backhand stroke. This term is often used in tennis, and understanding it can enrich your English vocabulary, especially if you're a sports enthusiast. So, let's dive in and learn all about it. A backhand stroke in tennis is a swing where the player hits the ball with their racket using a backhand grip. This typically occurs when the ball is on the opposite side of their dominant hand. For example, a right-handed player uses a backhand stroke when the ball is on their left side. The backhand can be performed with one hand or two hands on the racket. The backhand stroke is not just a basic technique. It's a critical skill in tennis. It allows players to have a broader range of shots and to handle balls that come to their non-dominant side. Some famous tennis players are known for their powerful backhand strokes, which they use to gain a strategic advantage in matches. Executing a good backhand stroke involves proper body posture, grip, and timing. Players need to turn their body sideways, transfer their weight from one foot to the other, and swing the racket across their body. The grip on the racket is crucial for control and power. Mastering this stroke requires practice and a good understanding of the mechanics involved. Interestingly, the term backhand stroke has transcended tennis and can be used metaphorically in everyday English. It sometimes refers to a remark or action that is indirect or not straightforward, much like how the backhand stroke in tennis is not a direct, forward movement. I hope this video has helped you understand the term, backhand stroke, and its usage both in tennis and everyday English. Remember, learning such specific phrases can greatly enhance your English language skills, especially if you're interested in sports. Keep practicing, and you'll be acing your English game in no time. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next lesson.